Here we're going to have a look at the Uniden Bearcat UBC125. It's a handheld scanner and it's particularly useful for both airband and marine monitoring. It also covers other frequencies, um, PMR etc and of course amateur radio. Uh, you here you see the accessories you get, you get a USB lead, a mains AC adapter, a pair of rechargeable batteries and uh, the rubber duck antenna and a, a carry strap. It's quite a smart radio as you can see here. Uh, it sits easily in the palm hand, it's nicely built and you get a feeling that it's, uh, it's quite rugged so uh, in that respect no worries at all. So here we have the uh, radio with the um, keypad on the front there built-in speaker. On the top there is a rotary encoder control there which acts as volume control, scratch control and also as the means of switching between channels. The antenna is a B and C fitting. Then if we turn it over, on the back there we have the battery compartment and uh, it takes a couple of IA cells that there. There we are and the on off button is there. Press that and there we are it lights up and uh, we're ready to go. One of the most important uh, things of course is how well the radio works and for airband monitoring I've um, got a standard reference point. I'm about four miles away from Southend Airport and uh, I get um, a reasonable signal from the air traffic information service but with sort of a gentle background noise. Um, to me that is the standard uh, for which I expect our receivers to work. So let's I've tuned this radio to um, uh, the south end uh, frequency so let's just switch it on and see how it works. Well, that's about what I would expect from a, uh, a decent radio. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So let's see how to enter a frequency now. One, three, six, decimal, O, oh, five, O. Oh. Saved, and there we are. Uh, that frequency is now in the memory, and the UBC actually works uh, by storing frequencies into its uh, memories. Well, the UBC 125 uh, seems to work quite well, and um, as you would imagine, there's a lot of other features on it. Uh, it's got very comprehensive scanning facilities. You can lock out certain channels. Uh, it's got CT, CSS on it and so forth. Um, far too much really for me to cover in a video. But it is a comprehensive scanner and you won't be disappointed. The one thing I would say is that the rubber duck aerial, rather like any other scanner you get to mention that's got a rubber duck aerial, has limited performance because it's probably resonant somewhere, but it's highly, highly unlikely it's going to be resonant where your particular interest is. So, for example, I concentrated on the airband. Um, the rubber duck with the 125 certainly isn't resonant on the airband. Uh, there's a very easy fix for that, and that is to um, get a dedicated um, airband aerial, which uh, you'll see come up on the screen in a second. Uh, that's the W901. Um, alternatively, uh, get a short telescopic antenna with a BNC uh, connector. That has the advantage that you can adjust the length to suit the frequency you're on. So, um, yes, the 125 is an excellent little receiver, does what it says on the box, and uh, you won't be disappointed. So, thanks for watching this video, and here's to the next time.